Now I've done my share of HP laptop reviews on this channel in the 13 inch category. Most recently, the HP EliteBook X360, I absolutely loved it. I took a look at the all new HP Spectre X360 with the gem cut design, another favorite of mine, but I wanted to take a look at something that's a little bit more affordable, but didn't skimp on the premium features. And that's where this comes in. This is the HP Envy 13. Now it's all new for 2019 with a refresh with the Whiskey Lake processor. It's got an edge to edge display. It's a full HD display with a 4K option if you wanna go that route. I took delivery of it about a week ago, been putting it through its paces ever since, and I'm glad I did. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and review of the HP Envy 13, all new for 2019, coming up. Now, before we unbox this bad boy, let's take a look at the specs. Now, what you're looking at here is a 13.3 inch IPS display. We got two options as far as the resolution, full HD or a UHD or 4K resolution. I chose the full HD. I also chose the edge to edge glass. That means you're gonna get those really small bezels. And it's also a multi-touch display. We'll go over the display in just a little bit. This all new 2019 edition now features the Intel 8th generation processor. It's the Whiskey Lake processor. My unit has the Core i7-8565U. And you can also get it with the optional GPU. It's the GeForce MX150 with two gigabytes of video RAM. And you could also get it with either eight or 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. And as far as storage options are concerned, it starts at 256 gigabytes, all the way up to one terabyte of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. And HP promises up to 14 hours of battery life thanks to that 4-cell 53.2 watt-hour lithium-ion battery. Of course, we'll check out the battery life and charging times later on in this video. The HP NV13 also sports Bang & Olufsen speakers, they're quad speakers, and it also has the HP Audio Boost. We'll check out the sound in a little bit as well. And as I do in all my videos, let's talk pricing. It all comes in at a very decent price at $1,049.99 with a 210 discount from HP Applied with free shipping and taxes here in Nevada at $69.30, a total of $909.29. And considering you're getting these really nice specs, that's pretty fantastic in my opinion, of course. And of course, in the interest of disclosure, I am not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. HP did not provide a review unit for this video and nobody is seeing this video before it's being released, just so you know. But of course, that's enough with all this nonsense. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. You get your extension cable, 65 watt power adapter, uses a barrel pin connector, but you could also charge via USB-C. Now, as far as setup instructions, they're in the box, as well as your warranty information, and of course, the unit itself, and holding it for the first time, wow, this feels really high-end, very premium. It feels even more expensive than the price tag would suggest. Now, there are two color options, natural silver, which is what you see here, and pale gold. Now, you also see that nice design on the back, and of course, very premium build quality. This has a thin and light design, and I'm very happy so far. Now, as far as the ports are concerned, on the left side is a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, a USB-A port, a USB-C port. It's not Thunderbolt 3, unfortunately, and a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. And moving over to the right side is your fingerprint scanner, a second USB-A port, and your power port with an LED indicator light letting you know the device is charging. The new HP Envy 13 comes with Windows 10 Home, but if you want to get Windows 10 Pro, don't do it at HP.com. That's a $70 premium. Why not instead check out today's sponsor, LVL Go. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Go, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Steam CD keys, mini games, and so much more. And they all come in at a fantastic price. And I have some even better news. I used to give a 21% discount code for the Windows 10 professional OEM keys. Forget that. It's now 25% off, even better. Well, what about Microsoft Office? You need that as well? Well, no problem, I got you covered. 18% off with my special discount code. Ordering is easy and safe. 
Head on over to lvlgo.com for these great savings and remember to use my discount codes and tell them Andrew sent you. Now when it comes to the display, you're looking at a 13.3 inch Full HD IPS bright view display. It's an edge to edge design which gives it a nice modern look and feel. I actually like the way this looks. Now as far as the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, it's good for consuming media such as Netflix and YouTube, although I'm a bigger fan of the 3 to 2 aspect ratio, but of course you already know that. Now when it comes to brightness, it's actually pretty good at 330 nits. This is good for both indoor and outdoor use, and it is a glossy display so in direct sunlight you may have some issues. I thought the blacks were deep and the colors were very vibrant and it also covers the color gamut really well. At 110% sRGB this is a good choice for those creative professionals that use this for video editing, Photoshop and Lightroom. It's a good choice but if you want even higher resolution and even more gamut check out the 4K display it might be even a better option. And just like the more expensive Spectre line, this also has some really thin bezels on the side and the top, and they were able to put a webcam in the proper place. And that's always good. Now, I'm a big fan of touch, so I went with the multi-touch option, and I thought it was very good, well implemented, with very good responsiveness. Overall, good job. Bottom line, this is a very good IPS panel, and I would definitely go with the Full HD resolution, especially if you want to get better battery life. So this is the front-facing camera on the all-new HP NV13T. This is running the Whiskey Lake processor. Now the camera is 720p, 30 frames per second, and it's okay. It definitely can do the job when you want to do Skype, video conferencing if you're in a business environment. This will definitely get the job done. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. Now, unfortunately, it's not a Windows Hello camera, but there is a fingerprint scanner located on the side, which I'm not a biggest fan in terms of placement. It's just a little bit awkward in my opinion, but it gets the job done if you want to log in with Windows Hello. It does the job. Now, when it comes to the keyboard, one word, wow. It's that good. It's one of the better keyboards I've used in a very long time. Now, it has 1.2 millimeters of key travel, which is definitely comfortable, a bit shallow, but very comfortable nonetheless. And it has a multi-stage backlight, the keys light white, letting you get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. I like that. Now I love the keyboard, but unfortunately I can't say the same for the touchpad. And for some reason, HP is insistent on using Synaptics drivers as opposed to the more responsive, better precision drivers that other manufacturers use. I just wish they would use them. Now, having said that, it's not the worst I've ever used, but it's certainly not the best. I would say it's mediocre. It's responsive enough, and you can do your two-finger scrolling and all your Windows 10 gestures. Just it would be better with precision drivers. That's all I'm saying. Okay, let's talk performance. It's actually pretty good and it's very comparable to some other Whiskey Lake laptops we've taken a look at recently, including the new Dell XPS 13. Now there is an option with an MX150 GPU. I don't have that one on hand, but if you want a little added performance boost, go with that. It's not going to be a gaming laptop by any stretch if you do go with that dedicated GPU, but it definitely gives you a little bit of a boost. That's for sure. Now, as you can see from these benchmarks, it definitely can hang with the other 13 inch laptops in this category. Definitely performance is very good on this. I have no issues in terms of productivity using Microsoft Office, web browsing, emails, you name it, it can handle it. It can handle Photoshop, Lightroom. You could do 1080p video editing without any issues. If you want to do 4K video editing, go with something with more horsepower with a dedicated GPU, such as the Dell XPS 15 that I just took a look at. Now, as far as gaming is concerned, as I stated, this is not a dedicated gaming laptop by any stretch, but you can play some older titles on lower settings if you so choose. Now, if you want to play some newer AAA titles, well, it's not that great of an experience, and I would look elsewhere, of course. Now to illustrate, here's a 2018 game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's got barely playable frame rates, even in the low and medium settings. But if you even think about high or ultra, forget about it. It's not playable. But if you look at the older titles, such as Bioshock Infinite from 2013, definitely playable frame rates at the low and medium settings. After that, well, not as great, of course. And when it comes to thermals, when it's under heavy load, actually it did pretty well. I was actually impressed, never getting above 32.8 degrees Celsius, and that was on the bottom. Never overly hot, never uncomfortable. I thought they did a good job in terms of heat management. Kudos to HP. And you're looking at a really fast SSD, excellent reads and writes, as you can see here. 
And when it comes to endurance, the new HP Envy 13 certainly doesn't disappoint. It has a 53.2 watt hour battery. And here's how it did on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. It did a very good 10 hours and 46 minutes. Definitely all day battery life. But if you do need to plug in, they do supply you with a 65 watt power adapter. But you could also charge via the USB-C port if you want to. But with that included adapter, a little under two hours. And that's pretty good to get you to a full charge. Not bad. The HP Envy 13 sports Bang & Olufsen speakers. They're quad speakers, two on the bottom and two above the keyboard, giving you really decent sound, a hint of bass. It gets pretty loud. Overall, impressive. The summer's calling. This bond is solid gold. We're diamond in an emerald. It took me forever to find you So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the HP Envy 13, all new for 2019? Absolutely. You're looking at a sharp full HD display with a 4K option, of course. Premium sleek design, excellent building quality, very good battery life, a world-class keyboard, and an affordable price coming in cheaper than something from the Spectre line. So that's a nice deal, in my opinion. You get a lot for the money. But of course, it's not perfect. The biggest con to me is the fact they went with Synaptics drivers as opposed to the more responsive precision drivers, which in my opinion, would have been better but there are no real deal breakers here ladies and gentlemen i'm going to give it a score of 90 percent making the hp envy 13 worth your money so what do you think about this bad boy the hp envy 13 love it thin and light gorgeous all metal design Love the edge-to-edge -edge display. It's a full HD, did excellent in terms of battery life, but there is a 4K option. But remember, if you go that route, you're probably gonna get less battery life due to the more pixels it has to push. Therefore, you're not gonna get the better battery life as you would with this, the full HD model. The Whiskey Lake processor is a welcome upgrade, about 20% boost in performance. You're getting better battery life also as a result. Now this has eight gigabytes of RAM. There is a 16 gigabyte option, but it did perfectly fine as you saw from the results in my performance tests. Now it's got a fast SSD in it. It's got everything you'd want, quad speakers. They're Bang & Olufsen branded. They sounded good. There are really no deal breakers here other than of course the touchpad. And I wouldn't call it a deal breaker. It was perfectly fine with its synaptics drivers. It was responsive enough. It just would have been that much better with the precision drivers that we've taken a look at in, pre in past laptops from other OEMs. But this is perfectly fine. No deal breakers here. Would have loved the precision drivers, but that's not what we get here. But probably the best part of this laptop is its price. Now I got this, believe it or not, with these specs, Core i7, Whiskey Lake processor, full HD touch display, less than $1,000 with the HP discount. I showed you the pricing. And to me, that is a steal for what you're getting. You're getting the great performance, the sharp display, great battery life, good sounding quad speakers, everything you'd want in an ultra portable. Is this something you wanna pick up? I think this is a great choice if you don't wanna spend the money for the Spectre line, you don't wanna spend more money for the Dell XPS 13, and therefore I'm gonna recommend this. This is a really excellent choice for the 13 inch laptop category. Excellent for a student, excellent for a business person. This definitely can get the job done. Again, I wanna know what you think. Let me know in that comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.